Hey guys and welcome to the Ravo 7 Tech Channel. Today we have the review of the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro. So before we get into the review, I would like to thank clove.co.uk for supplying this handset for the review. Also, if you missed the unboxing of the handset, please click the link in the description down there. Now this handset was released in June 2010 and it's actually the second smallest Android based device on the market with the X10 mini being the smallest. However at 17mm it is quite chunky for its size and with a weight of 120 grams, it is substantially heavier than its older sibling. So generally with tiny handsets you get tiny screens and the X10 mini pro is no exception. Measuring just 2.55 inches and having a resolution of 240 by 320 I feel the screen is too small. Web browsing in particular is very difficult as it takes forever just to move around a web page. However, the display is a capacitive touchscreen so it is a lot more responsive than resistive touchscreens. The design and build quality of the X10 Mini Pro is impressive. Despite the plastic construction, this thing feels like a quality handset. The front face has a glossy finish which contrasts with the matte texture of the back which gives the phone a good solid feel in the hand. The chrome accents are nice touches and the buttons produce good tactile feedback. Overall the handset has been constructed very well. Now the main feature of this handset is the slide out QWERTY keyboard. Now the inclusion of the keyboard is the only difference between this and the original X10 mini. Like the screen, the keys are also small but there is adequate room between each key. The raised design means that you can type text messages and emails very easily. Sliding out the keyboard activates the accelerometer so you can switch between portrait and landscape orientation. Unfortunately there is a slight delay between switching which can get annoying. Other features of the device include Wi-Fi, 3G HSDPA, a GPS receiver, a micro USB port for charging, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a 2GB included micro SD card and also a 5 megapixel camera. The camera features autofocus with LED flash and picture quality is good. The X10 Mini Pro also captures VGA video at 30 frames per second and the quality is impressive. This handset is based on the Android OS, however it is the older 1.6 version. Corner control has been added to make use of the small display and this feature basically gives you quick and easy access to all four corners of the screen so you can access messages, music, make a phone call or go to your contacts but you can also customise the four corners and have your favourite apps. You can also add widgets to different home screens for easy access to your favourite applications. Swiping up will bring up the application tray and you can easily swipe between the pages. Being an Android device, the X10 Mini Pro has access to the Android Marketplace where you can purchase and download apps. The phone can also act as a media player. The music app has a very simple and easy to use interface and you can simply browse through your music. The quality of the video playback is very good considering the small screen resolution. There is also a dedicated YouTube app for watching your favourite online clips. Overall we really like the Sony Ericsson X10 Mini Pro. The £250 price tag and the small size makes it very appealing but the tiny display will be too small for most people. This is not a handset for those needing frequent web and email access, but if you want a micro sized handset with smartphone pro s, this could be worth a look. So thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this review, and please stay tuned and subscribe to Ravo7 for more technology reviews.